Hey everybody, Ken Gonzalez here for George Lange Event Productions, and there's the whistle on the start of this boys under 19 match here at the 2007 Surf Cup. Surf Cup 27, if you can believe that. And we have the Guam United squad, they're in blue, and they are facing the Poway Vaqueros. Poway, just a suburb of San Diego, a little bit to the northeast of downtown San Diego. We'll get to the rosters for these squads here in just a minute, but we've got two 30-minute halves here. A little five-minute halftime. No overtime. These just the bracket play games. This is the second United squad we've seen here today. We saw the U16s play a little bit earlier. An 8-20 start. And they were matched up against team from Southern California, the Arsenal out of Altaloma, which is up near the Los Angeles area. And there's a whistle there by the referee at the middle of the field, and the ball will belong to Poway. That goalkeeper right now for United is Matthew Cruz, number one. So number 27 for the Vaqueros with the kick. That's a line drive kick into the middle. United clearing it away. Number nine chasing it down on the far side there. Ian Mari Mariano. So the ball put into play. Now Guam, they want to get out and run right down the middle, but the defense gets back for Poway. Again, there's number eight, Merfallen Elias, as he chases the ball. Action here in the middle third of the field. As soon as we settle into the action here, we'll get to the rosters. But right now, it's Guam coming in deep. And two things happening right there. Guam thought they might have been offsides, but the ball just rolls right into the hands of the keeper. He was going to snag it anyway. And so it goes back the other way, right to left for Poway. Huge contingent here for the Guam United squad here on the near side of the field. Evidently a very large community here in San Diego. And so they've come out to cheer on relatives and team Having a great time out here in Del Mar, the Polo Grounds. And for those of you that don't know, the Polo Grounds here just about 30 minutes, 25 minutes or so from downtown San Diego, just north of downtown San Diego. And we're just about three miles east of the Pacific Ocean. The famed Del Mar racetrack, horse racing, just a few miles away. And a nice dive right there to his right by the Vaquero Keeper. And the score remains nil. 22 far side. Joey Chrysostomo. Elias and Vaquero player far side going at it. It finally goes out. Guam now controlling the action. Oh, they want to put it in the middle of the field for number 10, Andre Gadia. Andre needed some help. Poway takes the ball away. Number two changes direction. And it's a good thing because number 13, Rain Johnson, was right on him. And as expected, this is a fast game. Guam. There's the cross over to the far side. The keeper goes up, and he's got it. Ball released here to the near side. Poway across midfield. Number one's got a break on everybody behind the defense, providing the defense there as that ball is crossed. Number four, Kevin Rivera for Guam United. So the goal kick now for United. Actually, we had a 
Not sure. It might have been an offside here against Poway, and so we had the kick up here. Not a goal kick. Uh, there's a collision. Number two there for United is going to get the yellow card. Atalik Baltazar. So the free kick here after the penalty, the keeper's gonna take it for Poway. And that ball's gonna skip away from just about everybody, picked up by the speedy number one. We saw him just a few minutes ago, battling in the corner, number 12, Carlo Tambora on him. And the ball out, and this time it is a goal kick for United. And for the United squad, number zero is Julius Campos. He plays keeper. Number two is Atalik Baltazar. Number three is Brian Cadiz. Number four, Kevin Rivera. Number six is Mark Chargluff. Number seven is Scott Leon Guerrero. Is that ball out here? And will belong to United. Number eight is Merfalan Elias. Number nine is Ian Mariano. Number 10 is Andre Gadia. Number 11 is Eric Sato. Number 12 is Carlo Tambora. Number 13, Rain Johnson. Number 14 is Crit Edward Calvo. Number 15 is an apple in front of the net. Let's see if they can clear it away. And deflect it out off Poway. Number 15, Francis Chargaloff. Number 16 is Ashton Serber. Number 17, Ronald Roberts. The keeper right now, Matthew Cruz. And number 22 is Joey Chrysostomo. So there you have the roster for the Guam United squad. Blue team's got to get back on defense. Nice job, number 14, by Crit there, Edward Calvo. Number 11, far side, Eric Sato. Poway now comes inside, but they're going to be thwarted there as a blue team clears it up to midfield. They can't bring it across, though, and the white jerseys for the Vaqueros. Moving right to left again. And you see the flag go up far side, so the Vaqueros will give up the ball. So this match starting right at 12, high noon here, Saturday, the 4th of August, 2007. Oh. And we've got just about 20 minutes remaining here, first half. Poway again, getting into the backfield. And cleared away by United up towards midfield. Trying to get back to it 11. That's Eric Sato. And again, the keeper for the Vaqueros. Has to come out and make the play. Guam really having pretty decent time getting the ball into the backfield of this Vaquero squad. Offsides there. Actually, it's a goal kick. I thought they were bringing the ball up, and the referee just wanted to make sure it had enough air. It was inflated properly and gives it right back to the keeper. Elias, number eight. Let's see what Guam can set up here. They go right to the net. And 
right there again, the keeper makes a stop. So that ball, that ball out far side off Poway. The sun directly overhead right now. We had a lot of marine layer here for the earlier game. And that is all burned off right now. And it should be a nice warm one out here in Del Mar today. So this is the first match here for this U19 squad for United. Two tomorrow, that ball high into the air, and there's the keeper. Matt Cruz rolls it out here near side. The ball's gonna be picked off, stepping into that passing lane. Number two places it into the middle. Poway moves it to the far side. Can they get a shot? It's deflected away. Nice job by United. And it's cleared across midfield. And that was Crit Edward Calvo making that play on defense here just a few moments ago. Poway's got a shot right there, number 15, and the keeper, Matt Cruz. Makes a nice play. Went one-on-one -on -one with Cruz. Did number 15, and he comes away empty-handed there. BJ, number two, Baltazar. Here on the near side, he had some room to run. Get the ball knocked out here. Will be United ball. Ball on the play to Rin Johnson, number 13, runs into trouble, tries to get back to the ball, and now Poway looks. Upfield and now the ball rolls downfield towards the net. Number 27 here near side for the Vaqueros. Pass into the middle, shot to the net, deflected over the bar. Nice job by Matt Cruz. Saves a very near score right there. But it is a corner kick now for Poway. Poway put it up top, and that shot on goal is going to be wide. Number 30. And so United will dodge that bullet there. Finally, the ball retrieved. Far side, so many fields, so many people here. And especially this field here because it's surrounded on three sides by fields. If it goes out, there's a good possibility it's gonna go and disrupt another game. We've already had five or six balls from the field behind us roll into play here in the first 15 minutes of this half. Free kick coming from the far side. Inside the circle, Carlo Tambora gets a foot on it. So 
So ball out far side still belongs to the blue team. Nice job here, number four, Kevin Rivera, keeping the ball here on the right half of the field. And now it's Poway trying to bring it across, but deflected out here near side by BJ, number two. Nice header, and Poway's gonna take it to the back line. And from behind, Carlo Tambora, number 12. And number one there with a bit of an acting job. But it serves its purpose as they get the whistle. And number six here for the Vaqueros will take the kick. And so Poway. Turned away again. Got no score here in the first half. We played 18 minutes, roughly. So just about 12 minutes to go. Little push right there and the ball will go to Poway. And from inside the circle, the kick will come. Number six. And there's gonna to be too much on that one. It's gonna go out and United with an opportunity to bring the ball up now. Matt Cruz puts the ball on the ground. Substitutions for Poway from the far side of the field. One player in, 27 out, number 33 in the match now. And there he is right in the middle of the field, ready to go. Pass with the left leg to the far side. Blue jerseys converging right on the ball. You see right there, 5-6. Joey Chrysostomo, number 22, in the corner. Now, Poway coming in deep towards the net, and they're going to run out of real estate there, far side. Across the back line. And a yellow card issued there. So that's the second card here today, or in this match. First 20 minutes of this 60 minute match. Poway's got some room to run here. Ball's gonna roll towards the near side. And let's see, last touched by Guam United. And so a corner kick here near side for Kevin! the Vaqueros. And they just get their offense rolling there to the net. And that's gonna be hooked and go out. Call is going to go against Poway. Maneuvered improperly there. Ended up being an offside. Guam shot downfield. They had it momentarily. And when the ball is put on the ground the second time, Poway takes it away and now across midfield. Nice job by Guam United here near side. Number 11, Eric Sato. And ball is out here near side. The 
referee wants it way back here behind midfield. So evidently the ball was put down on the ground and put into play before the referee was ready. So we got to do it again. Nice header as he tries to go inside. He had number 11 there, Eric. Guam, very feisty here, making Poway fight for any part of the field that they want. And we've got no score. So again, Matt Cruz with the kick. Let's see if he keeps it over on that far side. He does. I actually angle it into the middle. United here right at midfield. BJ number two. Around or surrounded by three white jerseys taken away by the Vaqueros. Number 10 with some defense there. Andre Gadia. 15 into the middle for Poway. Defense gets back for United. There's a shot to the net and on a bounce into the hands of Matt Cruz. Just about six minutes remaining here in the first half. And number nine, Ian Mariano there, far side. He's gonna angle inside. There's a cross, the header. Oh, deflected in front of the net by the Poway defense. Nice play. Couple of players on the ground, number eight. Elias for Guam United, and it's the Vaqueros now the other way, but that ball too hard upfield. And Matt Cruz will handle it. Nice strong kick, well past midfield. Vaqueros will win it, they bring it right back the other way, right to left. Number one, he's got his angle cut off right there. No shot, too many blue jerseys. Decides to go in front. He had a teammate streaking from the far side, but Cruz gets there first. Johnson, number 13, with the ball right there. In the middle of your screen. And let's see, now it's... The Carroll ball. So it'll be Poway ball as soon as they retrieve it. It's well into the middle of the adjoining field. So we got the ball back. Poway puts it down on the ground right at midfield. And they're going to be pushed out of the United backfield. Four minutes remaining here. First half, no score. So the action here on the left half of the field, the last few minutes. Poway not getting very many good looks. Cruz goes to his right, catches that ball in the air, saves a goal. And Poway tried very hard. I mean, they set a lot up to get to that shot. And it was no trouble at all for Matt Cruz. Kevin Rivera, number four, will put the ball in for Guam United. Oh, and it's gonna be right off the leg of number 11, Eric Sato. Number 33 with the header. And Poway right down the middle. And it is cleared out here near side. 
Still Vaccaro ball. So 15 from Fowway puts it in. The header is, is going to be deflected, cleared out. Poway keeps it on this half. Another deflection, but you saw that right here from this angle, number 15 picks it off. Into the middle. Poway trying to work themselves in deep. Gets away from number four and that allows Ian Mariano to get to the ball. Nice job by Guam United as they bring it left to right now. In the circle, now across midfield. BJ coming back to it. Oh, United saves it from going out. Ball still in play here. Ball still in play far side. The Caros again. Looking at the net, and that one's gonna be wide, and another goal kick for Guam United. One minute to go here in the first half. Ball right at midfield. Again, Vaqueros coming in, trying to get past the defense. And I think if they would have had somebody a little more speedier than number 15, they would have exploited the fact that Guam wasn't ready there. And another time, another nice play by Matt Cruz. United across midfield, number 13, Rain Johnson. Johnson passes it here to the near side. EJ, number two, now he looks in. There's a cross, a keeper on the ground. Slides and makes the stop. So my clock is off. I've got 30 minutes here. Great first half by each of these squads. No score. This could be one of those 0-0 games. Here comes Guam. Oh, he let it just a little bit too fast. Number nine, Ian Mariano. Keeper for the Vaqueros has done a very good job here, just as his counterpart, Matt Cruz, has for Guam United. United, nice job on defense. No shot for the Vaqueros. Ren Johnson in between a couple of players and that ball's gonna find the back of the net. Ren Johnson for Guam United. Sneaks that one past two defenders and the keeper. And it's one nil United here late in the first half. Ren Johnson, number 13, puts it through. Poway in the circle at midfield. The action going. Nice job across midfield. Number six back for Poway. And there's a whistle and the end of the first half. So Guam United, Ren Johnson, number 13, with a late goal. And they will go into halftime with a 1-0 lead. Ken Gonzalez with George Langevin Productions will be back with the second half in just a few minutes.
cartoon, just walking, got to shoot you guys see the person the ball Horse. Uh, Randy Murray. Randy Murray. Our team wins the ball, you're just doing this. Running. That's just saying, Paul Mary, you're just sending a long ball, right? I was saying on your foot, right? Just check the ball. You have to just one touch back and make your, your run open again. Then you can play the blue ball, right? But too many times, one option to have one ball. Like, besides, you can get more numbers up because you ball, right? You hold the ball. But too many times, when we see the ball, we just need to get the ball. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Ken Gonzalez here for Georgia Langevin Productions. There's the whistle, and we've got the final 30 minutes of play here. This U19 game, Guam United taking that 1-0 lead over the Poway Vaqueros. And let's see if they can hold it here in the second half. They played a really good first half. Their defense was on top of things. Collision there. Referee's flag goes up. Number five hurt for the Vaqueros. And while they tend to the player, we'll BJ, take a quick break. BJ. <laughs> All right, and so the injured player for the Vaqueros, number five, will come out. And hopefully he'll come back in. Replaced by number 30, far side. Number 30, yes, number 30. It's going to say 33, but it is 30. Number 27 in now as well. So just as they put it in, it goes out. And United with the ball. United here in the second half, moving right to left. The wind blows here in Del Mar from the west to the east, so it's going across this particular field, so it's not really an advantage or disadvantage to any team. The fields here on the south end of the complex play north-south. And the fields in the middle play east-west. And so if you're in one of the middle fields right now, and the whistle there by the referee in the backfield of United, so that's a break for the Vaqueros. And I was going to say, when you play in the fields in the middle and you're playing east to west, the team moving from west to east has the advantage with the wind to their backs. But right now it's just moving across the field, near side to far side. And number six for Poway with the kick. A lot of activity in front of the net. Here it comes, high into the air goes Matt Cruz. Catches it, drops it on the ground and recovers it. Nice job by Matt Cruz. The ball here to the near side. United, nice job by Johnson keeping the ball in play. Johnson looks downfield. He wanted to get the ball to Eric Sato, number 11. Elias. Number 15, far side for power. Remember we saw him here on the near side in the first half, up and down, and he was heavily involved in the action. And an offsides here. So there's a kick for United. It's placed nicely into the middle of the field. Helios number eight passes it into the middle. Ho oh, number 11, Eric Sato just couldn't handle it there. But his teammates recover number 22, Joey Chrysostomo. 
Number 27 for Poway. Trips up and an offside call. He tripped up there. Crit for United. Long ball, now right here at midfield, number 22 and 27 battling. Chrysostomo has to get back, he's chasing him from behind. There's a cross, number one, can he get a shot? No, it's deflected, nice job by the defense for Guam United. Still not out of the woods yet though. Cruz has to come out and he smothers that ball. Nice job by Guam United here as they protect that one nil lead. Ian Mariano, number nine. Passes it over to Andre Gadia. And that ball runs out of room across the back line. Goal kick for the Vaqueros. Substitution in for the Caros. Ten is out. Is that, um, and number 25 is in. So are you performing at the Islander Festival? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to look into it. I don't know how soon they start. All across midfield. Again, number 15 for Poway. Defense getting back, though. Number eight. We're following Elias. Howie again pushes it into the backfield. Cruz high into the air. Makes a stop. Injured player for Poway. Pretty harsh collision there. And again, the Poway coach is going to have to come out. And as he does, we'll take a quick break. So for the Vaqueros, that was number 15 who was injured. And he's coming out, being helped off the field. And he looks, he's a big guy. And he's in a little pain. <laughs> Cruz with the kick, nice strong one. It's gonna land across midfield. Johnson goes up for the header, can't get it. But his teammates are there, they come in deep but the defense for Poway is there. 18 far side, took the place of number 15 for Poway. And now here comes a white squad from behind takeaway. And let's see, what is the referee gonna call there? It's gonna be a corner kick. The ball goes out, no penalty. Ball goes out across the back line. Corner kick here for the Vaqueros. Let's see, you got two, each number two for each. The number two player for both squads. AJ for Guam United. And now he comes back out. Here comes the corner. Into all the traffic. Can they clear it away? Guam United does bring it up here towards midfield. Rolls to the near side, it goes out. And United with the ball. And a yellow card to number 25 right here. For the push. Play by number 22, Joey Chrysostomo. And the action ball out here near the side is really turning into something each of these teams don't want. Very long up and down kicks that don't amount to anything. And another yellow card here. 
This one to United, number nine, Ian Mariano. Number six with the free kick here near side for the Vaqueros. And that kick's gonna go long. It's gonna roll out. Nobody touched it. And so the goal kick for Matt Cruz and Guam United. Ball rolls into the backfield of Poway and finally goes out. Second weekend here of Surf Cup. Shot to the net and Cruz is right there off the leg of number four. So another save for Matt Cruz. Nice header, Ian Mariano here across midfield. Now here comes United down the middle. There's the give to Eric Sato, but it's deflected away by the Vaqueros. Goes out and still Guam United ball. Right here at midfield, United brings it across. Very impressed with this squad. They played a great game here in the first, well, the first and second half so far. Chrysostomo and that shot to the net. Too much backspin on that one, and it just rolls or flies out across the back line. And substitutions here near side for United. Scott Leon Guerrero into the match now, number seven. Replaces AJ number two for United. So a fresh set of legs in there for the blue team. This match had a 12 noon start. We started actually a few minutes afterwards. And we started the second half at 20 to one. So about 110 this match will be over. And now Poway trying to get past the defense again, but coming from behind. Leon Guerrero there. Ball goes out across the back line. Last touch by United. So the corner kick here for the Vaqueros. But they haven't been able to capitalize on any of their kicks here so far today. And they don't do so there. Taken away by United down the middle of the field. Number 10. Gadia now the ball in the middle of the field in the circle. And a quick whistle. That's going to go against Poway. United quickly gets it into play. And number nine here near side, Ian Mariano. Tried to go right through two white jerseys. Has it taken away, but his teammates recover. Joey Chrysostomo there. Chrysostomo sends it back the other way. Look for Ren Johnson. Poway. Number three, taken away, Joey Chrysostomo again. Into the backfield, number 11, not in a position to take a shot right there, and he's got three blue jerseys run on him. It's cleared out. Now they got to set up again, number seven. His kick is gonna be blocked. Elias, number eight, had that block. And United taking it away. They got some room to run down the middle of the field. And he tries to lead that one for Guerrero on the far side, but Scott can't get there in time. And it's out.
Scott tries to thread, to thread the needle between two Poway defenders there, but the ball is going to be deflected off his leg and out. And Poway far side. A penalty against United. One of those penalties that you get the whistle, it goes your way, but you'd actually have been better off if it wasn't even blown because number one, they had a lot of room to run. And now that allowed everyone to get set, Cruz now came out, deflects the ball. He had an open net or left an open net. Poway couldn't do anything with it. Mariano, number nine here. Guan, Guam keeping the ball here on the left half of the field. Number eight, Elias. There's a shot to the net. And again, off the side of the toe there and spins out across the back line. So another goal kick here for Poway. Guam with a substitution here, near side. Midway through the second half, 15 minutes remaining, number six now. Mark Chagloff. Number six in now for United. And Chargoloff again now, right in on the action as soon as he came in. And a whistle there by the referee. And is he going to issue another card or just a talking to? Talking to number 11 for Poway. No card. Penalty against Vaqueros. Ball in the middle, let's see who's gonna win it. And it's Poway now, bringing it left to right. But they've had so much difficulty once they get into the backfield of United. As those blue jerseys get back now. And another nice job. Oh, a little careless right there. Number four, able to push it back the other way. But now United has it. And they're gonna bring it up across midfield here. Near side. And Poway just sends that over to their keeper. Ball still bouncing. Let's see who's going to control it as it comes down. And it goes out off. You know, off, off Poway, that is, and United wants substitutions here. And AJ back in, number two. Elias now taking a breather. So ball off Poway, nice spot for United there far side. Let's see if they can make something happen. Now when they throw it in from that far side, they're directly into the wind. Well done, Mark. Well done, Mark. <laughs> that shot on the ground cleared away by number 13 and now here come the Vaqueros across midfield. And again, the defense gets back for United. Number one comes in deep. There's a cross, and it's going to be just wide of the net. So a break right there for United. And again, Matt Cruz with the goal kick. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Try, try. Back, 
And now it's the Vaqueros the last few minutes. Into the backfield, that cross is gonna go long. Number 22, Chrysostomo will take it. And now here comes Guam United on the near side, moving into the middle now, Ian Mariano. Pass over to Guerrero. Leon Guerrero there in the middle, number seven. Try to get back to the ball, but the Vaqueros take it back now. Left to right in the circle, there's a handball. And the ball belongs to the Vaqueros right there in the circle. Ten minutes remaining here in the match. One nil in favor of Guam United. Wide squad coming in deep again. Can they get an angle and a shot? No, they can't. AJ there, far side. And he's going to boot it out. Ian, mark up, Ian, mark up. Left shoulder. Throw comes in. Vaqueros again trying to penetrate. They just can't get a shot on goal. Defense has been stellar here for Guam United today. Ball here to the near side. Number 11, Eric Sato, but taken away by the Vaqueros. Off Guam United here. Poway ball. And Poway with a substitution at midfield. Number 13 coming off. Ball back into play, and that cross field pass is going to go all the way to the far side and out. And so a break for United. They'll have the ball. That ball actually ended up going out across the back line, so it's a goal kick. In front, in front, in front. Cruz with a left leg, nice line drive kick. And it's going to go across midfield. Let's see if United can take it and run. AJ up to Johnson. Johnson's going to be stopped there. A little bit of contact. The ball goes out across the back line. That penalty against Johnson. And quickly Poway on the ground. Defense is going to have to get back. Save for going out. Nice job by United near side. Ian Mariano, number nine. In the middle now, up. And that's going to go against the Vaqueros. And the Vaqueros running out of time here. They trail 1-0. Under 10 minutes. Come on, guys, keep it up. Seven minutes remaining. Leon Guerrero hits the ground. Number seven for. United. All out far side. And does Poway want to substitute? I believe so. Can they though? Whose ball is it? And it is Poway's. That shot on goal is going to be deflected. They might get another opportunity. Into the middle, header up straight into the air. Still in the air, cleared away by United. Nice job there. They're not out of it yet. Poway coming right back, and that's deflected out. That's a corner kick for Vaqueros. But United, and that stingy defense, forced the corner.
No one's touched it yet. It rolls here to the near side. And number 15 back in. And that ball towards it, and it's deflected, and Cruz hits the ground, nearly came squirting out, but he was able to keep it all together there and make the save. Mariano and number four battling here. Penalty called against United. It's number nine in Mariano. Five minutes remaining. Nice spot for the kick. Bent nicely and that ball is gonna be out across the back line on the header. Last touch by the Vaqueros. And now Guam United, what they need right now is to bring it upfield, put the ball into play into the backfield of the Vaqueros for a minute or two just to draw that clock down some more away from their net. And again, that goes against United. Into the middle, nobody touches it, and who oh, nearly sneaking in on that far post right there for Poway. Number 27. And so the goal kick here for United. Nice kick past the circle. AJ number two over there, he's last to touch it. And the Vaqueros into play again, number 27. And that's who they want the ball, or they want to get the ball to number 27 there. Sets it up, nice deflection right there. Again on the ground and again, knocked back out. Huge break for United right there, oh Johnson was just waiting for that ball, might have attacked it better. And Cruz comes out and makes the stop. Huge opportunity right there for Poway and they're turned away. And they've come right at this United defense with everything they've got the last five minutes trying to tie this one up. And the defense has done its job. AJ's got some room on the far side. Keeper comes out, the net is free. Defender there, shot on goal. Number 11 for United, Eric Sato. And United is up 2-0 over the Vaqueros. And we are late in the second half. And that's really gonna do it. We've only got two minutes remaining. And Poway, of course, with the score one nil, had an opportunity all the way to the end to try and tie it, but now they need two scores. And that's just not gonna happen here. I tell you that against this defense. That penalty against United, but it's just a matter of time now. And United's gonna walk away with this first round victory over the Vaqueros. So a three-man wall, are they gonna make it four? Nope, they're gonna make it three for United. Big break for Poway, here comes the kick. Bent nicely over the top, over the crossbar. Cruz went up as high as he could go. And the Vaqueros turned away, and that could very well be their last attack right there. This whistle is gonna blow at any time. Yellow card issued there, I think because of a delay. Delay a game, yellow card there. Far side. 
United. And there's the whistle. So Guam United has come in here under 19 and has taken this match from the Poway Vaqueros 2-0 with a score in each half. And each score coming at the end of the half. The final one putting the finishing touches on the Vaqueros here. So we hope you enjoyed this match. Exciting first round game here. First day of Surf Cup 27, the second week. And this under 19 match is over. Guam United 2, Poway Vaqueros nil. I'm Kenny Gonzalez for George Landrum in Productions. We hope you enjoyed this match. It was really fun to bring it to you here today. Till we see you again, be safe and have a great day, everyone. Okay, we have Matt Cruz, the goalie from Guam. And uh, Matt, how did you feel out there stopping all those goals? Uh, it was tough. Yeah, a lot of adrenaline in the beginning and you're nervous and all that. And it just got my head straight, thought of the game and just came out and just did what I did back home. Matt held them scoreless, zero, zero goals. Okay, we have Dominic Gaudia, the head coach for Guam United, that just uh, beat Poway 2-0. Dominic, how did you think about the, what did you think about the game? Um, coming in the game, a lot of the boys were excited. You know, this being our first tournament out here in the mainland, so it feels, it feels good to start the game off with a win, especially in a tournament like this. We got the group stages. I know everyone's always looking for a win their first game, but um, everyone's really excited. Um, but right now, I'm trying to tone everyone down. Just keep their heads cool because uh, we still got two more games left. So, but it feels good. All right. Hi, my name is Joey Krasasov, and I'm number 22, and I'm defensive left left side. I am Christian Calvo, number 14, and I play center back. Hi, my name is Carlo Tambora. I'm number 12, and I play center back. Hi, I'm Kevin Rivera. I'm number four, and I play right back. Okay. Talk about the game. Say about two things. Uh, okay, well, we trained really hard uh, before this trip. We went to Japan to a professional training facility, and then when we came out here, we didn't really know what was going to go on, and <clears throat> we uh, weren't sure how the teams were going to be, so today we just found out. Talk about the game. Okay, well, well coming into the game, I didn't really know what to expect. I, I've never seen any of these teams play. I, I've never heard anything about them except they're really fast and really good. But in the first couple of minutes, we had time to adjust. We got used to their play, and I guess we were able to keep up with them. 
Um, I'm just really glad that we got to see uh, how it is here in America, and we hope to, you know, uh, join one time, well, one day, like in a club. I, I'd, like, I'd like to say that uh, it's good being here in San Diego. Um, I thought the game today was really good. Good to see what America got, so the U.S., and uh, hope to see some more of them. Go Thank Guam. you. Go Guam. Hi, my name is Elias Merfallen, and I wear number eight on the field, and I play center midfield. Uh, I'm BJ Talik. I'm number two, and I play right wing on the field. I am Ian Mariano, number nine, and I'm left wing. I'm Andre Gaudia, number 10. I play center mid. Um, our, our head coach couldn't be here because of uh, he had a tragic uh, accident and uh, really today's performance uh, is a reflection of his work and uh, all the discipline he instills in us and uh, we just dedicate this win to him and uh, we hope for the best in our future games. Um, before we came out here we were training hard for months and months and we showed on the field and we worked hard today. Uh, the, the game today was much physical, much more physical than uh, back home where we live on Guam. But it's a uh, more faster pace and physical, so we held it strong today. Today's game was pretty fast paced, so like we're still getting used to the fast pace, and it's just really good to be out here in a competition like this where we could show what Guam is and get on the map. Hi, my name is Eric Soto and I play Ford for the Guam team and I wear number 11 on the field. Hi, my name is Mark Chargiloff. Um, I'm number six on the team and I play center mid. Hello, my name is Ren Johnson. I'm from Mingila, Guam. I wear number 13. I'm on a Ford. Hi, my name is Scott Leongro. I wear number seven and I play midfield and right wing. Is that talking in? Um, today's game was, was a good game. Even though it was a little bit short, it was only 60 minutes. Um, every time some of us come to the States, we always tell people about Guam, and some people ask, what, what's a Guam? People don't even know what Guam is, so it's, finally, it's good to finally come out here and uh, show them what Guam football is all about and how we play. Uh, today was a great game for us, and you know, the tournament was hard to get into. You had to get invited. And we were lucky to get invited, and we were very satisfied with the results. And um, we're just glad we, we didn't disappoint our fans, and, and we made a name for ourselves today. Um, back home, we train in a very humid environment, and uh, it's a lot different from this environment. I mean, it's beautiful out here, and you know, it's just great to be here, and it's an honor to just play in this tournament and on these nice fields. And In today's game, it's really fast pace and it's great to know that we were able to keep up with the guys you know get a few goals in and it's great to just put Guam on the map once again. Hi my name is Francis Chargloff I'm number 15 and I play defense. I'm Brian Cadiz I'm number three and I play right defender. My name is Ashton Serber I'm number 16 I play left outside mid. My name is Ron Roberts. I'm number 17, and I play striker. I'm JR Campus. I'm number zero, and I'm goalkeeper. Now you boys are going to talk about any about practice, uh, the trip, uh, your parents' help, your sponsors' help, the game, whatever you want to talk about. Right. <laughs> you can talk about your parents. I mean, yeah. How you got here? All the fun ways well, first I'd like to say I'd like to thank all the parents and people who've helped us out just get here. It's been a long road since. We probably started like one year ago fundraising and we'd like to thank them for putting in so much help and, and support and helping us fundraise the money to keep even get here. I don't even know what to sing. What do I sing? Talk about uh, mm -hmm. practices uh, or your training. Or the trip, talk about how you got Yeah, there. we've been training for quite a while since uh, the beginning of this year. And we've been playing hard in men's league in Guam. And yeah, and uh, the key to our win today was uh, good communication. And 
We didn't fight or anything on the field. What do I see now? You guys took everything. Talk about the other team. Today's game was pretty hard for the boys. Uh, the other team was, uh, they looked pretty fast and strong. Uh, our boys, Matt, were able to uh, keep up with them. So uh, in the end, the better team uh, came out on top. Um, like the others said, we've been practicing for a long time and we had to work really hard to come out here and uh, we're just trying to do our best and hopefully we come out on top. Oh. It's, uh, it's been a long road coming here and we practice hard and in the game they played hard but we played harder. So, yeah. Thank you, boys. Okay, this was a very good uh, first game for our boys. Uh, they got the bugs worked out, and a lot of them had butterflies going into it and were very nervous. It was good to see them, uh, you know, keep uh, keep calm and stay focused on the match. They they believe in themselves. They know what, the, what skills they have, and uh, they showed it today. So it was really, really rewarding to see that, to see our, our passes and how aggressive we were and, and attacking the ball and then also on defense. So all in all, it was a, a well-rounded uh, game against a really good uh, Poway team.